Hello, Doctor Who friends. Welcome back to some more Doctor Who. Finally, we have new episodes. Come on, I have new episodes coming out. Yes, I'm back to recording. <laughs> okay, uh, so this one is episode 10, Hide. Series 7, episode 10, Hide. So, very exciting. Let's get into it and see what it's all about. Oh, and if you missed last week's episode, The Cold War, um, I did watch it. Uh, it is up. I tried an experiment with YouTube, uh, some settings and whatnot that, that some people suggested, whatever, to try and get more views and, and that kind of thing and see if it gets pushed or promoted further or whatever. And um, it, it clearly didn't work out as expected. So, yeah, I experimented a bit and didn't really work. So you may not have gotten a notification for that. I'll leave it in the uh, description below or in the pinned comment if you wish to go watch it. <laughs> We have a new cinematic experience, viewing experience, which may help with copyright stuff. How are we looking? Oh. Hopefully. <laughs> Any thoughts on the interference? A stray FM broadcast, possibly, but I've fitted some ferrite suppressors. Oh, we got Fire some oscill uh, uh, oscilloscopes going on there. Very cool, very cool. I like oscilloscopes. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with oscilloscopes. Very neat. Oh, she's so lonely. Excellent, then. Excellent. It's excellent to be lonely. Sounds a bit disrespectful. Taliban House, Night 4, November 25th, 1974, 11.04 p.m. This isn't going to be more... Um... I'm talking to the spirit that inhabits this house. Oh. Are you I was going to say weeping angels. Can you Doesn't seem me? to be. I'm speaking to the lost soul. Up your bum. Come to me. Speak to me. Let me show you the way home. <laughs> Ouch, pain. Let me show you the way home. Interesting. Emma? Well, there's clearly something. So, so what? No, no. Dead. Doctor Who? Boo! Uh, yes. Hello? <laughs> I'm looking for a ghost. Yes. And you are? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. I... I was honestly thinking of already calling the... the making the title of this video, Who You Gonna Call Doctor Who? Instead of Ghostbusters. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And also doctor, ridiculous. Doctor what, if you like? Doctor, the, yes. Oh, doctor you. me. Oh, <laughs> Doctor what, if you like. <laughs> Instead of Doctor who. Okay, I get it. I jumped one over my head for a second. Ghost hunter. Total pleasure. Actually, you're wrong. Professor Palmer spent most of the war as a POW. Actually, oh. that's a lie told by a very brave man involved in very secret operations. The type of man who used to be cross in a box in the attic, right? Eh? But you know that because you're uh -oh. Emma, the professor's companion. Assistant. It's 1970. Uh, the assistant. Best being the same. objective equipment. Meaning psychic. Getting that? Disrespectful. Black Summer, his military intelligence. So, uh, uh, all this yeah, in Edo. Sure. Health and safety. The ministry got wind of what's going on down here. Sent me to check that everything's in order. They don't have the right. Don't worry, Governor. I'll be out of here in well, five minutes. Well, do I have you? Oh, they have the right uh, now. The ACR 99821. Oh. Caption on the toggle switch is love. I don't think you should be messing with, with all this equipment that much. Calm down, Doctor. Come on. Nice noun. Excellent verb. It's a weird oh, word. Don't mess with the settings. Yeah, stop it. Don't touch things. Precise. Got you. Health and safety. Classified, I'm afraid. Well, what's it telling you? Horrible you things. Been exposed to any life-threatening transmundane emanations. Okay, good to know. So, where's the ghost? Show me the ghost. It's ghost time. I will not have this stolen out from under me. Do you understand? Um, no, not really. Sorry. I will not have my work <laughs> stolen. Then we fogged off with a pat on the back and a letter from the Queen. Never again. This is my house, Doctor, and it belongs to me. This is actually your house? It is. <laughs> Sorry, you went to the bank and said, you know that gigantic old haunted house on the moors? The one the dosses are too scared to doss in. Yes. The one the birds are too scared to fly over. And then you said, I'd like to buy it, please, with my money. Yeah, I, I did, actually. Exactly. He did. That's incredibly brave. Yeah. We just need to know what's going on here. Horrible things. For the ministry. You know I can't answer that. Oh. Very well. Follow me. Surprising how persuasive the doctor can be, eh? So what's... An empathic psychic. And weird. I sense feelings the way a telepath can sense thoughts. Uh -huh. Sometimes what are you? The most compassionate people you will ever meet, empathics, are the loneliest. I mean, exposing themselves to all those hidden feelings, all that guilt, pain, and sorrow. Doctor? Yes. You can calm down for a minute, please. You're making her feel very uncomfortable. Calm the fuck down. Why are you at 89 fucking degrees Celsius? Calm down. Much longer. Caliban gassed. Mm. She's mentioned in local Saxon poetry, 
and parish folk tales. Wraith of the Lady, the Maiden in the Dark, the Witch of the Well. That sounds familiar for some reason. Not sure. As in, where from? Actually, real. In the 17th century, a local clergyman saw her. He wrote that her presence was accompanied by a dreadful knocking, as if the devil mm. himself demanded entry. Do you like him American knocking? American stationed here left offerings of tin spam. The tins were found in 1965, bricked up in the servant's pant, along with a number of handwritten notes. Appeals to the gas, to the love of God, stop screaming. Hmm. She never changes. The angle's different, the framing, but she's always in exactly the same position. Why is that? We don't know. And I bet you the story with this is she's not really a ghost, she's just trapped in can't detect her. without the presence of a powerful a sight. different time period or something like that. Where there's a remnant of her that's playing over and over. I can feel her calling out to me. What's she saying? Or she's screaming across <laughs> time. So where's the well? A copy of the oldest plan we could find. There is no well on the property. I mean, none that we could find anyway. <laughs> You're coming. What? Mm -hmm. find the ghost. I really want to do that. Because you want to. Come on. Well, I dispute that assertion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm your face. Yeah. Can you see me? Look at my face. <laughs> Fine. Okay. He's very subtle about it. Demi. I dare you. Mm. No takes you back, sis. She's an interesting character, she is. The music room is the heart of the house. Did he just push her into the hallway a little more? Oh, we ask her how she came to be. Why? Ignorance is, um, what's the opposite of bliss? Carlisle. Yes. Yes, Carlisle. Ignorance is Carlisle. I don't think so. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go back and see that. What the fuck? And how did they not hear that? Come on, that was very close to them. Is he really from the ministry? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he certainly got the right demeanor. Oh, really? Capricious, brilliant. That's usually how people just just come to describe him. He's a liar. But you know, that's often the way that it is. When someone's seen a thing or two, experience makes liars of us all. We lie about who we are, about what we've done. Like you being a POW? Oh. Always. Always They're in love. love. They're falling in love. Or something. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, I have to I have to be getting on with things. The um the equipment and so forth. Of course. Mm -hmm. The important equipment. Sorry, I can't kiss right now. The heart of the house. Do you feel anything? No. Your pants are so on fire. Oh, my life. Uh -huh. You need to get a new one. Well, this is a new one, actually. It hasn't been that long. Do you feel like you're being watched? What does being watched feel like? Is it that funny tickly feeling on the back of your leg? That's yes. A then yes, a bit. Well, quite a big bit. Mm. I think she's here. Cold spot. Spooky. Cold. Quite indeed. Wall. Cold. Wall. 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 Doctor. Doctor. What? I'm not happy. No. And he just leaves. <gasps> Why would you leave her there? Don't you know what happens when you leave your companion behind? You haven't learned yet. Damn. Is it gonna be the Cybermen again? They were ghosts the last time. They were the ghosts the last time. She's coming. Okay, what is that? It's uh, it, it, uh, it's a very loud noise. It's a very loud, very angry noise. Oh, really? Who's making it? I don't know. Are you making it? Not really. Doctor. Yes. I may be a teeny, tiny bit terrified. Yeah. Oh, Sprint. <laughs> Mainly, yes, and. Oh, I think he's the one who's. I'm not holding your hand. Okay, what was that? It was something. Ah, ugly. He's an ugly. Ah, it's like a ghoul. Funny. <laughs> I, I'm just imagining the the person, the, the actor, playing this character. <laughs> just, just sitting there like a creep. Oh, kitty. Ah. 
Has this happened before? Never. Camera. Camera! Yeah, let's take some pictures of that, huh? Come here. Gone. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what's going on because obviously it's not like a real ghost. But then again, who knows? I don't know. I guess it kind of could be. I mean, there's freaking living stone statues in the show, so. <laughs> whiskey is the 11th most disgusting thing ever invented. I used to drink whiskey straight. Whiskey neat. Back at the ministry. Well, you've certainly seen a thing or two. No, it's not really pleasant. <laughs> Operation Gibbon. I do love a carrier pigeon. I did my duty. And so did thousands of others. Millions of others. I was just lucky enough to come back. Yes, but how does that man, that war hero, end up here in a lonely old house looking for ghosts? Honestly. Because I killed. And I caused to have killed. I sent young men and women to their deaths. Here I am, still alive. And... But the, does tend to haunt you living after so much of the other thing. Yeah. So makes sense, and it probably would. You do know how he feels about you, don't you? You of all people. I don't know. Sometimes we get our signals mixed up. We think people are feeling the way we want them to feel. Oh, this is that. Because it's obvious. It is pretty obvious. Like, it's pretty obvious, honestly. And if you could contact them, what would you say? Well, I'd very much like to thank them. Bing. Bing. Think she is not what I thought she'd be. What did you think she'd be? Fun. Fun. <laughs> Can I borrow your camera? Ta. What about you and the doctor? Oh, I don't think so. Good. Sorry? Don't trust him. There's a sliver of ice in his heart. Clara! That's all rude. Disrespectful. What the hell? I've got this weird feeling it's looking at me. It doesn't like me. Told this is like a cat. A bit slow to trust. We'll get there in the end. Well, it's probably because of you know, the whole thing that she's died, well, uh, no. Well, yeah, she's basically died twice. I mean, I guess her becoming a Dalek wasn't necessarily death, but it might as well be. You need a place to keep this. I've got one. I had one. Mm -hmm. I think I had one. Look around. See if you find it. Okay. I have one. I going Just there? shake it off. No, not in here. How do you expect her to like you? <laughs> she's soaking wet. It's health and safety nightmare. Rude. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> What? So, okay. Where are we going? Nowhere. Funny. Staying right here. I love right that. Right <laughs> here on this exact spot. If I can work it out to do it. So when are we going? <laughs> that is good. <laughs> that is top notch. And the answer is? We're going always. We're going always. That makes sense. That's okay. not actually a sentence. Well, it's got a verb in it. What do you think? Eh? Uh, colour's a bit boisterous. I think it brings out my eyes. Makes my eyes hurt. Yes, I agree. See where you went. I could hear an engine, but I can't see any lights. Oh, yeah. What the f did you do? Is this uh, when the Earth is like still forming? Back off! Hot suit! Hot, hot, hot! Why not? About six billion years ago. It's a Tuesday, I think. Ah, time of the dinosaurs. Okay, wait. Why? 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 Hmm. So we went about six billion years there. Back in the mode. Oh really? Uh, right? um... Feature game. Okay then. Well don't press any buttons or pull any levers or make any funny faces. Actually don't move. Stand completely still. Don't breathe. Stop. Well. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. But shallow breaths. Ridiculous. What's wrong? Did the TARDIS say something to you? Are you being mean? No, if we just watched the entire life cycle of Earth birth to death. Yes. Basically. You're okay with that? Hmm. Yes. How can you be? The TARDIS. She's time. We. We believe all and so on. It's not what I mean. Okay. Some help. Context. I mean, one minute you're in 1974 looking for ghosts, but all you have to do is open your eyes and talk to whoever's standing there. To you, I haven't been born yet. And to you, I've been dead a hundred billion years. Mm. There's nobody out there somewhere. In the ground. Probably. Yes. It's kind of a weird thing to think about. And stuff. But here we are, talking. So I am a ghost. Not to really. You, I'm a ghost. We're all ghosts to you. Not really. We must be nothing. No, you're not that. Then what are we? What can we possibly be? Why is she so bothered just because he can go so far and so back in time? You are the only mystery worth solving. 
That's gonna play with her head for a bit. <laughs> Saw something I wish I hadn't. What did you see? That everything ends. No, not everything. Not love. Not always. Right. Done. That's it. Gather round. Gather round. Roll up. Interesting roll up. conversation. The ghast of Caliburn House, never changing, trapped in a moment of fear and torment. But what if she's not? What if she's just trapped somewhere? Time runs more slowly than it does here. A second to her was a hundred thousand years to us. Somebody has a magic box, a blue box probably. What if said somebody oh, could take a snapshot of her, say every few million years? Oh. She's not a ghost. Surprise, surprise. She's definitely a lost soul. Her name is Hilla to court. How did you figure out her name? She's a pioneer. A time. Oh. Or at least she will be in a few hundred years. Time travel is not possible. The paradoxes resolve themselves. themselves by and large. How long has she been alone? From her perspective, she crash landed well uh, three minutes ago. Crash land where? She's here. in a pocket. You know. Oh, never mind. Not a here. A distorted <laughs> echo of our own. They happen sometimes, but never last for long. Okay. Our universe. Hello, Tukorian's here. Pocket universe. You're a lantern shining across the dimensions, guiding her home back to the land of the living. Okay. But what's oh. she running from? We don't know yet. Should we see? Oh. Hmm. What is that? Pleasant. I don't know. Still, not to worry. Oh, really? So not to worry. What do we do? Not we. You. Well, when you guide her you back home, that thing is also going to come back really. with her, and then you're going to have to deal with that. <laughs> Good luck. Some sturdy rope and a blue crystal from Metabolis 3, plus some candle meat cake. Okay, go ahead. Uh, figure out where that is and collect it. Good luck! <laughs> Again! Don't do it. Well, Sorry. Nobody asked her to risk her life. This woman, she doesn't deserve... Wh whoever she is, however brilliant, Excuse however brilliant she Excuse me? Is, she is not worth risking a single hair on your head. Not to me! She doesn't deserve what? To live? To be rescued? Tell me what I'm thinking. I can't. Because you know she's going to do it. Your gift. You don't need it. Just look at me and tell me. There you are. You read my mind. Oh. Can't you just, you know, what? fly the TARDIS into a parallel universe? Ah, it's not a parallel universe. It's a pocket universe. Plus, it is collapsing. I mean, the TARDIS could get in there, all right, but entropy would bleed her power sources, you see, trap her there until the entire universe decayed back into the quantum foam, which Fine. would take about uh, three minutes, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> Sounds great. Oh. What is that? Subset of the Eye of Harmony. <laughs> don't touch. I don't. Of course you don't. Be ready if you did. I'd better do it myself. Right, you. Sit uh -huh. down. From Metabolis 3. If you say so. What does it do? Amplifies your natural abilities like a microphone or a pooper scooper. A what pooper exactly scooper? Is this arrangement? A psycho chronograph. Huh? Me, but non psychic technology won't work where I'm going. Listen, all I need to do is dive into another dimension, find the time traveler, help her escape the monster, get home before the entire dimension collapses, and Bob's your uncle. Don't okay, say... uh, it sounds super simple. Will it hurt? Yes. No. Oh, sorry. My bad. Well, yes. I have, uh... A bit. Well, quite a lot. I don't know. It might be agony. To be perfectly honest, I'd be interested to find out. Fuck's sake. <laughs> They exhale. I'm talking to the Thank you. I'm speaking to Hilla Takorian. <laughs> See! The witch of the world! It's a wormhole! Ah, oh, that's what it is. Okay. Ready! <laughs> oh, poor woman. Geronimo. Yeah. Okay. What a fun adventure, eh? Oh, n why are you... I don't know if taking all that off is really such a good idea. Yeah, it's definitely collapsing. Universe, you me dead. Two minutes, no time, complete sentences, abandoned planning. Wait, there's something in the mist. Yes, he knows. Then run. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god, what is that thing? Which means, uh, probably. Well, good job. Yeah, this, this. You know that exit I mentioned? Yes. I seem to have misplaced it. Congratulations. I knew that something like that would happen. 
because why I said uh, uh, taking all this stuff, I was probably a bad idea. Should have had more rope or something. That is super interesting. As long as she can hold out long enough. Oh god. He's looking for a way in. What was that? What was the red thing? Come on, get the hell through now. Or is he gonna get friggin' stuck there? Mm, come on, come on, come on. Yep, I knew it would be stuck there. Dumb, to have gone together. How stupid. Oh dear. Hmm, well, the TARDIS knows something's wrong. I was gonna mention, is the TARDIS gonna go there itself and save him? Wake up! Open the thing! Oh, sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be what you did. It wasn't enough. She needs to do it again. She can't. Look at her! She has to! We can't leave him! I know that you feel that you can't do this, Emma, but look at that woman over there. You saved her. She's only here because of your strength, and so am I. This is true, this is true. You did a lot. Oh, let me in, you grumpy old cow! <laughs> you grumpy old cow! What? Emma, I was as lost as her. But being with you, you gave me a reason to be, Emma. You brought me back from the dead. What? What? Brought her back from the dead? What does he mean by that? Oh, they're all oh, they're all looking into it. Or at least the TARDIS voice visual interface. Oh. I'm programmed to select the image of a person you have seen. Oh. Several billion such images in my database. This one best meets the criterion. Oh, well, you are a cow, I knew it. Oh, well, that's disrespect. Your doctor is in the pocket universe. You can enter the pocket universe. The entropy would drain the energy from my heart. Four seconds I'd be stranded. In ten, I'd be dead. You're talking, but all I can hear is ma 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 ma. Come on, let's go. <laughs> disrespect. Hey, hey. Doctor. Come on. Oh, yes. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Are they pulling for psychic Doctor. energy or, or are they just like there for moral support? Come on. Mm. Okay, well, um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. <laughs> what do you want to frighten me, I suppose, hey? Because that's what you do. I, you're the bogeyman under the bed, seeking whom you may devour. Very fine. I, I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps on my arm and on my back. If you want me to be afraid, then well done. I am the doctor, and I am afraid. Which is surprising, because we've never seen him like that before. So why am I still here, huh? Why not just eat me? Because it probably feeds on your fear. Because you still need me. To leave. So yeah, he can get out. You to piggyback you across. <laughs> uh -huh. For which I say, come on then, big boy. Chase me. Mm. Holy shit. Yuck. Bye. <laughs> and they're gonna come flying right back through the thing that she opened. There we go. Holy shit. Okay, wow. <laughs> I don't quite fully understand how exactly this just happened, but alright. <laughs> it did it. That's the important thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was crazy. You didn't come here for the ghost, did you? No. You came here for me. Yeah. Why? I needed to ask you something. Then Interesting. Ask you Clara. Yes. What is she? She's a girl. Yes, but what kind of girl specifically? She's a perfectly ordinary girl. Very pretty, very clever, more scared than she lets on. And that's it, is it? Why? Is that not enough? This is very interesting. So maybe maybe she she's the, the first Clara. He can't take me home. History says I went missing. But he interesting. can change history. No, 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 I can't actually. There are fixed points in time, you see. Hi. What? 
Okay. <laughs> I knew you were there to feel you. Mm. I know. We we can't have. You haven't even been born yet. No, oh my god. Met, but she can be your great great oh, great the cow. great granddaughter. Hey, eh? yours too, of course. But you guessed that already, didn't you? Oh. Oops. Apparently not. Paradox. Resolve themselves by and large. That's why the psychic link was so powerful. Mm. Blood calling to blood. Mm. And time. Not everything ends. Eh? Not love. Not always. What about, uh, <coughs> what about us, Emma and me? What's supposed to happen? I mean, what do we do now? What do you mean, what do you do now? Like, <laughs> That's what, what are you talking about? Keep doing that and don't let go. That's the secret. Uh-huh. Doctor! I'm not happy. You need me to piggyback you across. I'm not holding your hand. How? I get there in the end, oh yeah. Doctor? How do sharks make babies? Um. Carefully. No, no, yes. no. Oh, happily. What? Sharks don't actually smile. They're just, well, they've got lots and lots of teeth. They're quite eaty. I'm very confused what he's doing. I mean, educated fleas do it. Every lonely monster needs a companion. There's two of them. <laughs> it's the oldest story in the universe. Ah, interesting, it's interesting. It's yearning for each other across time and space. If this isn't a ghost story, it's a love story. So, <laughs> take the armor on her. So, hey, what's he going to do? Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt the rest of your life. Uh, can I use your psychic power and uh, cause you to be in extreme amounts of pain one more time? Oh, funny. Well, hello again, you old Romeo, you. Now she comes. Oh, okay, they're doing this whole trick again. <laughs> Get ready to jump. Oh, poor Emma. I feel so bad for Emma. She's got to be in so much freaking pain now. <laughs> Screaming one more time just to help two monsters get back together whatever those creatures even are well i suppose that's it for now this this was a good one this was fun i am kind of surprised to hear from emma that um clara is just a normal girl but if if she if she was kind of the the first clara you know wibbly wobbly timey wimey nonsense right if, if this is the one that the great intelligence first got whatever from or did something with and uh whatever blah 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 i don't know because I, I, I'm sure at some point in the future she would, right? Like, I, I don't know. I'm confused. I can't say or think exactly how I want to say it. But regardless, she she could be the, the normal Kalara, first Kalara. The others were copies or something. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again soon. If you like the bus, keep on enjoying it.